Hey guys, I want you to go subscribe right now. Help me reach a million subscribers. That's my goal. Let's see if we can make it work. Also, while you're at it, the merch is officially live. So go to hartfordltd.com. <laughs> we also got t-shirts. Good morning, everybody. Look at the beautiful weather we have today and the beautiful tire marks that we left from last night. You know, we just repaved the asphalt for them. They yeah. should thank us. Yeah. Today, the plan is to dine up the C8 Corvette. I haven't had my coffee yet today, but the plan is to do some testing on the trans controller box to see if we can command more line pressure. So far, yesterday, just doing a rip around the block. Everything looked good, didn't go into lip mode. Hopefully she works, and if she works, Maybe we go after a high horsepower number. We'll see. <laughs> All right. The Mustang left a lot of rubber behind. I'm not gonna lie. I love the Corvette. I just love the fact that I can do a third gear freaking burnout and roast a set of tires with the Mustang. What's up? How you doing? How are you doing? doesn't have a tune on her. We had a nine pound spring in the gate, we swapped it to a three, and we just zeroed out the tune on the computer until Alex would be able to come out here so that we can test a few things and then ease back into power with the new updates on this software. You're looking pretty good right now. So this is the fun part of dynoing where we just do like drivability stuff, make sure everything looks good before we start doing some pulls. One of these does not look like the other. See that one? That doesn't look good at all. It might be oil. Well, we've seen oil in the intake. But one cylinder. So you think piston ring? Could you imagine this is the way we find out the motor's bad? <laughs> we did a compression test. Yeah, but compression test doesn't always tell you everything. We didn't do a leak down. Grab the tuner, have them look at it. I said pull the other, keep pulling the other side. The headers are hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got the some. plugs over there. Look at them, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's definitely got some carbon on it. Oil? Yeah. I mean, I'm just thinking best case scenario here. <laughs> Watch the title of this episode as my engine's gone. <laughs> All right, so I was able to get the passenger side out, which the passenger side actually looks pretty good, if you guys can see that. This is the scary one. We're gonna put new plugs in. We're gonna see if the issue persists. If it keeps happening, then I think we have a bigger issue. But if not, we'll just keep changing plugs. Nothing is more satisfying than having a good set of knives in your kitchen. That's why we are happy to announce today's sponsor, Kamikoto. Kamikoto makes great Japanese steel knives using traditional techniques from Japan. Kamikoto knives are used by Michelin star chefs, so the quality speaks for itself. I've personally been using this set at home, cutting steak, cooking for uni, literally chopping it up in the kitchen. That was a clean cut, boys! Each knife comes in a beautiful, heavy-duty ash wooden box to make sure that the knife is stored safely. It also makes a great gift already boxed up and ready to go. Kamikoto's product range features a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as the three-piece Kanpeki knife set that comes with an Akiri vegetable knife, seven inches long, the slicing knife, which is eight and a half inches long, and the utility knife, which is five inches long. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. And for you guys at home, Kami Koto has several special offers going on right now. Go to the link in the description below. Get an extra $50 off any of your purchase using discount code Amelia Hartford. And I hope you guys enjoy this knife set at home. Car was turning off. It was turning off. But what? What mile? 86, 84. Yeah. Oh, 86 but. miles per hour because the front was open. <laughs> I bet you that fixes it. Yeah. So something a lot of people don't know, there's been a lot of updates on Pites' controller. And one of the updates is you can run up to six pounds, or in our case, six and a half pounds of boost without needing a second ECU to control fuel. So you don't need to buy a secondary ECU if you run his controller. And right now he's working on also incorporating fuel, but one thing at a time. Always constantly trying to improve the product. We really appreciate the opportunity to come out here and 
help you out with it. Oh, of course. The cool thing is that saves consumers, you guys at home who want to twin turbo their Corvette, money because you don't have to buy a second ECU. For now, with the fuel you do, but soon you won't have well, to. Yeah, we also can control uh, direct port methanol with our controller as well. So if you don't want to do like a full on fuel system, you could just run the direct port meth and we can control that with our, our controller. For six and a half pounds of boost without needing auxiliary fuel, that gets you 650 horsepower. It's my favorite sound right there. <laughs> All right, we just got a great pull on nine pounds of boost, the street tune, we're really happy with that. And so now we're gonna go for power. The only unfortunate thing is there's a little bit of white smoke coming out of this tailpipe, the same bank that had the carbon buildup plug, so. Just send it. <laughs> I'm kind of with you. I'm sick of pulling this engine. <laughs> Just send it. <laughs> I'm gonna put in that good good, that breaking bad. It's not really blue. <laughs> put the jug is. How much time you guys got? <laughs> That was my first hit, and look at that, 0% fuel trims. It was perfect. Yeah. It was literally perfect. <laughs> you couldn't get any better if I tried. Made good progress now. I love the fact that the C8 is not a trailer queen. I stand by the fact that I believe this is the best twin turbo C8 Corvette on the market. I'm sorry, some of you guys are gonna hate me for saying that. But we drove her here, we're gonna dyno 1200 horsepower, maybe more, and drive her home. Full interior, full everything. I don't know anyone else is doing that right now. Yeah, 958. 958. That's 14 pounds. Yeah, 14 pounds of boost. Not bad. Oh, yeah. I think I heard a little tire slip there. All right, so we don't know if that was tire slip or clutch slip. So we're going to do it one more time. If it's tire, maybe we go to the main line. If it's clutch, we can start using that trans control clutch pressure box that the guys engineered. Do you think it's going plumbing. on mode because of that cylinder? Well, he'll tell us right now. <laughs> it added a bunch of fuel before it went into lamp. Yeah. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> You're not going to tell me that wasn't a lot of smoke? That's a lot of smoke. The smoke's getting worse. We need to pull the plugs now is what we need to do. Again? Just at least that one. Oh, to check it? Yeah. yeah. It's making f***ing power though. 983. They're going to start working on just the trans control box to see how the car reacts to it under heavy load. And uh, hopefully we can make magic work. We're really short on time right now. We have one hour until these guys need to leave to the airport. Either way, we're getting some good data. It's good feedback for us to know what we have to do next. Right, we're gonna get some airflow to that engine. So keeping in mind that a main line is going to read higher horsepower, it's not really fair for us to continue to try to go after horsepower when we already believe that the number we have would read higher on the main line. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the same amount of boost we ran when we broke 1256 tire horsepower and see what happens with the line pressure box. We're definitely gonna get tire slip, but let's see how much. Hi, Uni. So at the moment, we're just doing testing on the line pressure control box. After kind of going through this video, I realized it's a little bit technical, so I wanna to try to explain to you more of what's going on. Basically, a DCT clutch is like a stack of brake pads and rotors sandwiched together. Similar to your brakes, it uses hydraulics to press pads and discs together in order to hold more power. The trans controller is just pushing harder on those hydraulics in order to get the car to slip less. And you want it to actually lock up versus the clutch is slipping under power because it can't get enough force to lock up. 
And I want to show you guys how strong this fan is that blows on the car whenever you drive it. that the trans control works under power. That is really good news because that was the limiting factor that we ran into at the racetrack. So everything's good, the car is happy, we got some incredible data and I'm so happy that this trans control device is working for us. So here I don't think I explained it well enough. The plan originally was once we believed the tires were slipping on the Mustang Dyna, which we were a little bit confused about because we were able to run the 1256, um, tire number on the same dyno, whatever. We're gonna switch it over to the main line, uh, but unfortunately at this point, we only had an hour left before Pites and Max had to leave to the airport and we couldn't find the correct hubs for a Corvette in order to put it on the main line. So we'll save the main line for another episode because I know we'll put down so much power on that, but stay tuned because next episode we go to the drag strip where we find out what we've been fighting for the past six months on the car. The good news is we now have trans control, the engine's happy, all of our issues have been resolved. We have a little bit of an oiling issue, but honestly, the smoke coming out the exhaust just disappeared throughout the rest of the day, so I don't know. I think uh, she was just pissed that she hadn't been seeing some driving time. <laughs> all right, you guys, I just wanna thank you guys all for, for watching today's episode. If you don't already, please subscribe to the channel. Your girl's trying to hit a million subscribers and uh, it would be much appreciated. On that note, I hope you enjoy some Sweet cold start sex appeal coming from the C8 Corvette, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. E crew, we out here with love. Bye. We're cooking with meth now. Sounds <laughs> Wait. Like a good blue <laughs>